guys, check it out. We have just arrived at the suburb bus terminal in Bangkok and we are going on holiday to Hue Hin today. Got an absolutely amazing price, like less than 20 quid for the whole holiday, including travel. So absolutely amazing, obviously without food, but uh, yeah, anyway, absolute steal. We just got to, yeah, like I said, we just got to the bus terminal. Unfortunately, the big bus has uh, stopped to run in because of COVID and all that rubbish, so not as many people, but uh, we're just going to 7-Eleven now, getting a drink, and then we're gonna get the uh, mini bus. And hopefully it won't take too long to get to Hue Hin. Anyway, I'm gonna catch up with you uh, on the way and uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Cheers. Pow. Yo, what's up guys? Only me again. Unfortunately, the uh, obviously I said the big bus is uh, not going, so we went down to get the minibus. And um, yeah, it's a bit slow today, so obviously lack of people. Normally they go in like constantly, 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 so uh, we have to wait like another half an hour. So we just come back into the shop and looking at all the different clues and whatnot now and passing the time until we leave. So there you go then. That's my update and uh, I'll catch up with you uh, in a bit. Cheers. Get some bargain clothes here. Bargain. Bargain. And we're in the van now waiting to go. Oh yeah, just get the party started. <laughs> uh, yeah, got some snacks for the journey, feeling a bit packaged today. And it's not keto, I know, but uh, we're on a holiday, but it freaking matter. So uh, not gonna go crazy with the carbs, but uh, still gonna have uh, a few naughty things here and there. We're gonna be doing lots of walking and whatnot and swimming, so we're uh, gonna burn off all of that stuff. So anyway, there you go then. That's my excuse. <laughs> petrol station now and uh, yeah the journey's going quite well actually it's a little bit cramped up in the van but uh, it's all good can't complain for the freaking price really and uh, yeah so there we go they just had a toilet break and probably about another maybe 40 50 minutes until we get to Hua Hin so I'll say the time's going really quickly and uh, yeah catch up with you when we get there in a bit come on freaking hell this is hard work holding this camera god you're so lazy come on Yo, what's up guys, check it out. We have just got to friggin' Hawaii here. An absolutely lovely drive, it was well quick. Didn't take long at all to get here. It's like only 20 to 12 now, so 20 to 12, 20 to friggin' one. So I only took round about, oh shit, dead rat. I just kicked a dead rat. <laughs> Seriously, it's a dead rat on the floor. Yeah, friggin' hell, that just scared the crap out of me. It's okay, it's dead, it's not gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, there we go, dead rat on the floor. So anyway like, anyway, like I said, first time traveling since this corona rubbish, so I don't know how busy it's going to be around here. Hopefully not many tourists and whatnot, so it should be pretty chill chill, I think. So uh, yeah, we're just heading off down to the um, hotel now. Um, probably about a 10 minute walk, so it's not too far. Woo! Anyway, uh, yeah, enough awful now. I'm just going to catch up with you uh, when we get to the hotel, and I'll show you around there. So see you in a bit. Cheers. Yeah, check it out. The hotel's a little bit further than I thought, but uh, just, yeah, just coming up the road about another five minutes, and we're just coming past the, the Grand Night Market, not the normal Night Market, man. Not sure if you can see, I'll take a picture in a minute. It's all friggin' practically been knocked down. Unbelievable. That was quite heaving last time I came. Lots of like foodie restaurants and clothes and all of that, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty much, uh, pretty much dead at the moment, so I'm not sure if it's going to kick up, uh, kick, get going, sorry, get going later on at night, and uh, yeah, we'll find out later on anyway. And I'm like, oh my god, I've got sweat in my freaking eyes. I can't freaking see. I'm just gonna walk into a tree. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like I said, catch up with you in a hotel. Cheers. Here you gotta turn left and with freaking caution. If you turn right, just freaking go absolutely freaking crazy. But when you turn left, make sure you are cautious. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere here. Is that it at the end? I think so. So check it out, we just got walking down the way now to the hotel. It's just basically opposite uh, Hua Hin Market Village, so not too far. Check it out, here we are. First down at the other end, but like I said, this was an absolutely amazing bargain, so can't turn down a good freaking bargain. Anyway, this is the room. Just about to go inside and uh, check in. Check in with all that rubbish, whatever it's called, I don't freaking know. Anyway, yeah. What do you can have a reservation? Walking. Whatever you call it. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Just uh, checked in now. I just got the key to the room. We're just about to enter the freaking room. Absolutely dead quiet in here. Obviously, the, we're in the corridor now, but uh, reception, absolutely nobody. So, uh, not sure what the rest of Huayin's going to be like. Anyway, checking out the room for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Trying to put the key in the freaking keyhole. Yeah. Here we go. Enter. 
Oh. Here we go, here we go. With a fire. And this is the room. Check it out, check it out. Oh yeah, here is the bathroom. Friggin' handsome some guy in the mirror. Yeah, what's up, handsome guy? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. And I've got a lovely uh, shower curtain with friggin' dolphins on, even though they're not dolphins in Wales. Yeah, there we go, shower, nice toilet down there as well. Oi, bloody hell, here's the uh, rest of the room. Oh, check it out, nice, nice, uh, nice little bed there, nice and cosy. Got a cool picture up on the wall with some friggin' fishies. Got a friggin' TV, lovely modern TV flat screen. You can't get flatter than this. Absolutely state of the art technology here. State of the art technology. <laughs> got a mini fridge, which is freaking cool, keep your drinks cold. Uh, oh, I've got some nice old water as well, nice water. And another freaking handsome guy in the freaking guy in that mirror. What's up, handsome guy? <laughs> oh dear. Got a nice kettle, and we've got a lovely view outside. <laughs> Look at that, freaking hell, amazing view. But uh, yeah, can't complain with the, the, the price. Uh, yeah, got a lovely lampshade down there. Oh yeah, but fine. Oh, but fine, but aircon, but air. We're on today. Uh, yeah, there we go, got a nice lampshade. Aircon controller, picture, uh, wait, <laughs> me nearly walking into the glass door because I thought it was open and it's not. <laughs> we're getting, getting out. Okay, there we go. Wee, yeah, man. Okay, Wee. and here's the outside, check it out. Outside balcony with fantastic CVs. <laughs> Got a nice bit of like, uh, what's it called, Conwood. Absolutely beautiful. Can't get better views than that. I mean, this is what you pay for. This is what you pay for, guys. You pay for the location and yeah, this is, I'm just speechless, speechless. Let me take a moment just to enjoy the views. You enjoying the views? Beautiful, do you mind? Mm. Okay, there we go then. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that is the room then. Um, of course, I've got a wardrobe as well, check out the wardrobe. Yeah. Moved a little bit quicker than uh, I thought. It's a really highly, highly oiled door on this one, bloody hell. It's not like one of these old doors. It looks like one of these old doors where you're like, but I was freaking wrong. Uh, yeah, there's the lovely, uh, uh, what's it called? Freaking can't get my words out. I'm absolutely freaking tired as hell. Lacking in energy at the moment. So yeah, coat hangers, everything, awesome. And yeah, there we go then, at the moment. There we go at the moment, I said that at the moment, too many goddamn times. So um, yeah, I'm going to put this uh, luggage down now and uh, take a couple of pictures and uh, catch up with you in a bit once we get, uh, once we get settled in. That's the word, settled in. Thank you for not helping me. Just going to my mind. <laughs> okay guys, see you in a bit. Cheers, chicka pill. Yo, only me again. I just realised there's an absolutely massive door in the room and it's not our door, it leads to somewhere else. I'm not sure where it leads to. It's freaking locked. I think it's a secret passage to uh, next door neighbours. Is anyone in there? Hello? No, no one's home, no one's home. Anyway, there you go. What? I'm talking to freaking YouTube and seeing if anyone's on, in our neighbours, opening up, letting us in, inviting us for a nice cup of tea or something. Welcome drink. No one's in there, it's locked. Okay, there we go then guys, that was just a load of random waffles, so yeah, okay, see you in a bit. Here we go guys, we are in the lift, check it out. Well, there's two of me, freaking that is a scary fall. <laughs> oh, look at the beach, so quiet. So quiet, oh mate, I cannot believe this, this is crazy. So quiet, just there in the way. Oh, and then people. Oh my god, look how quiet it is. And you still got a few people with the old paragliding and whatnot. There's a horsey. Yeah, horsey. What's up guys, check it out, we are in the freaking beach now, the boy in, just uh, checked into the hotel, like done all that bits and got the bits and bobs ready out, out of the bag and all of that malarkey and now we're walking down the hotel, walking down the hotel, <laughs> we're not doing that, we're looking along the beach, which is absolutely freaking dead quiet, normally it's absolutely full ton, jam packed of like really fat European people, like beach whales on the freaking uh, sand and, and oh my god, it's absolutely crazy, it's like literally hardly anyone here, I've never seen anyone here so freaking and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear me okay because it's freaking windy AF so uh, this might be a horrible uh, sound on this video but uh, yeah anyway we're walking along the, the beach like I say absolutely freaking dead quiet just uh, there's a family there and uh, a couple of white people having a beer over there and, and that is it so uh, yeah absolutely freaking mental anyway we're just walking down now to get a little naughty pizza not keto I know but uh, yeah whatever on holiday for a little break so why the hell not and uh, yeah I probably can't hear anything with the 
when, like I said, so I'm gonna catch up with you when we get to the uh, restaurants in a bit. Cheers, check it out. Wow, wow. Yo guys, check it out, we've just been walking along the beach and uh, oh my god, check it out, there's an absolutely massive puffer fish on the ground, absolutely freaking massive, all like puffed up and everything, it's absolutely freaking awesome, check it out. Look at it, look at what we're in here. And that's my freaking flip flops getting completely soaked again. But check it out, oh, how cool is that? Look at it, freaking puffed up, awesome. How cool, man. Wicked, that's so cool. Yo, yeah, check it out guys, we're in Pizza de Roberto in Hua Hin, having a naughty little pizza and a beer. We've just been walking along the beach and uh, just come up to down here just to have a little snack before we have dinner in a few hours. And always come to this place, absolutely friggin' tradition, and they make absolutely friggin' awesome pizzas here. So make sure you check it out. I'll put the links down here as well in the description. You can uh, click the link and find the map on Google Maps. And uh, yeah, like I said, just ordered a beer, just come here, nice beer thing. Hello, you're on YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, okay. <laughs> Cop on cap. And there you go, that's the, the waitress. She just brought me a beer. She's famous on YouTube. So uh, say hello to her if you see her, if you ever come to here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to catch up with you when the pizza comes. See you in a bit. Cheers. <laughs> Yo, hello again. I keep saying I'm going. I keep coming about every freaking five seconds. Just wanted to say, freaking a nice cold beer is absolutely freaking beautiful. Check out that. Just, we're just sitting here, chilling out. Literally, like nobody here at all because freaking COVID, no tourists, but it's just so nice sitting here. No really people smoking, getting in the way, which is freaking awesome as well. I hate people doing that. And oh my god, nice cold beer, absolutely freaking fabulous. Yeah, beer Ah, oh, oh, cup of cap. Oh, check it out, that's freaking new. We got these uh, carbohydrates, small carbohydrates, I know, but freaking hell, keto diet is not on holiday, so yeah, check it out. We just got these lovely little snacky things. Cool. And uh, yeah, you know. See what they're like. Mm. Like crispy, crispy, like pizza crusty sort of things, but crunchy. Quite interesting. Oh, no. mm. oh yeah, more carbohydrates. Why not? Why not? <laughs> anyway, catch up with you when the beach comes. Stick them out. Cup on cap. Cap. Oh, yes. Check it out. Check that bad boy out, absolutely friggin' awesome. And that's absolutely amazing. They got a um, actual pizza oven in the place, so they cook everything. They make all the dough, they cook it all in the oven, and it gives that lovely, authentic taste. Check it out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm just gonna put this bad boy to the taste test now. Oh, yeah, it's friggin' hot, it's burning my hands. I'm gonna have to put this down quickly or take a bite. What do I do? I do not know. Decisions. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for that to um, cool down a bit, it's burning my mouth. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, it's not nice, though. Mmm, freshly made pizza is absolutely freaking awesome. I love pizza. Like I say, not keto, but what the hell ever, you're on holiday, so enjoy the moment, enjoy the moment. Oh yeah, guys, there you go, check it out, there you go. Pizza de Roberto in Huahin, make sure you check this place out. Mm, lovely pizza, lovely pizza. Okay, we're gonna eat this and uh, yeah, catch up with you uh, afterwards, cheers. Yeah, what's up guys, just finished eating that pizza de Roberto, check it out there, woo, freaking absolutely lovely pizza. And uh, they seem to have changed the staff because uh, normally the pizza's uh, lovely and whatnot and the staff are absolutely freaking useless. But uh, yeah, quite nice those people down there. A little bit quiet, but uh, quite nice. None of freaking less. Anyway, we're just heading back down to the, uh, the beach now. Gonna have another little chill. And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say really. So just uh, point this waffle again as always. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna catch up with you in a bit. Cheers. Check it out guys, here is the usual jelly flip. Normally see absolutely freaking tons of these bad boys on the beach. One time I was walking along here just for like a couple of hours, less than a couple of hours, whatever, and there was like 37, so just one today, but uh, yeah, still pretty cool nonetheless. Freaking jellyfish, awesome. Yeah, get out of the way of the shop. There you are again, hello. <laughs> yeah, jellyfish, freaking uh, take that back home, put some like cream on top and you got like a freaking blancmange. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, see you in a bit. Hello, say hello to YouTube, say hello to YouTube, like and subscribe you said, like and subscribe, yeah, like and subscribe, that's a clever dog, well done mate, tell everyone, yeah, thank you very much, like and subscribe, and run out, run out here, and that means they have to subscribe, right, on the road, yeah, yeah, wow mate, yeah, well done, good job, nice bum hole by the way.
you guys check it out we're back in the room now and uh, look we've got a lovely uh, couple of mugs here and a kettle and uh, there's like oh look no tea bags no freaking coffee no creamer or anything so i said yo where's the creamer and coffee we haven't got any can we have some please and they're like you have to buy your own you have to buy your freaking own it costs like freaking like 10p and they got all of this here and they're not providing you with a freaking tea bag or coffee mug so that's a freaking down one star on my review rating for this hotel not freaking happy about that and i wanted to share my frustration with you people so there you go then i am frustrated uh yeah anyway gonna shower in a bit chill out in the room shower in a bit head off to the restaurant down the night market and whatnot and uh, yeah catch up with you there so see you in a bit Yo, what's up? On the beach now, having a stroll down to the restaurants and that. I was going to catch up with you in the restaurants and the night market and that, but I thought, uh, yeah, let's walk along the beach instead of the main road and enjoy the lovely fresh air. Oh, yeah, freaking awesome. Absolutely quiet as hell. The wind's dropped down. It's absolutely beautiful temperature here. Feeling absolutely amazing. A nice little stroll as well, burning off those extra carbohydrates. Well, probably not that many of them because I ate too many today, but like I said, whatever. Ah, right, check out the sky behind us. I'm not sure if you can see with the, the light into the camera try and adjust it no that's not working well take my word for it there's a lovely sunset you just can't see it because this uh my phone freaking sucks for crying out loud so uh yeah anyway look at this oh it's so freaking nice i love the beach look how quiet it is absolutely freaking quiet as hell unbelievable oh man i absolutely love walking on the beach at night oh, so refreshing the fresh air and oh the waves the water it just feels absolutely awesome Anyway, that's my lovely fanatic rave about the lovely beach. I'll catch up with you in the night market. Pow! Flip flops. Yo, what's up, guys? We've just come off of the beach now, walking up to the restaurant and just come to this part of the, the town. This was like a little busy cafe. Look, absolutely shut down. Absolutely shut down. We got this, uh, this place here was a, like a quite a popular, um, what's it called? A re real estate place with like those are houses. That's all completely gone inside. Absolutely dead. Oh, look, it's all shut up here as well. We've got this all shut up behind me all up here that was a like massage place yeah another massage place a gem place this is all shut up oh my god and this place is shut all up as well look at that can you see unbelievable so much is freaking shut up here we got this royal thai massage is gone as well royal thai massage is gone this was a popular um, massage place absolutely huge huge one as you can see it's like from here all the way down to here that's completely gone um that's gone as well down the small soy down here it's where I stayed down here before. That's absolutely dead quiet. It's like no tourist. I, I know because of COVID, but uh, you really notice it more here in Hua Hin than you do in Bangkok. It's freaking crazy. Absolutely freaking crazy. This, oh uh, yeah, this, this is a massive uh, popular massage place as well. The health massage. This place is all shut up as well. Everything inside is gone. Um, yeah, we've got a tiny massage place here, which is open. Holy shit, look, all of this is gone as well. All of it is gone. I can see there's a car in the way. Yeah, this is all gone up down here. As you see, this is for rent. This is for rent as well. This, this is all gone. You've got the freaking like a tailor place down here. This is all freaking gone. Starting to get to a bit further up from the beach now to that mainly section. We've got a, like a little shop up there, which is open. I've never seen who in this quite before. It's absolutely freaking weird as hell. But uh, yeah, make sure you check out my other freaking videos in Hua Hin. You, I'll put the link up here so you can watch them and see how freaking busy the contrast is absolutely crazy. It's just dead quiet. I just can't believe it. It's so freaking quiet. Apart from me yapping. Listen. Shh. Look how quiet it is. Look how quiet it is. Look how quiet it is. Yeah, look. Can you see the quietness? See the quietness. <laughs> and this place is normally busy. Look, absolutely nobody. Look at it. Absolutely freaking dead quiet as well. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay, and that masseuse place is open. Just waved to me. She said to make sure you like and subscribe the video as well. Absolutely freaking dead. Shut up. This bar place is absolutely heaving. It's absolutely heaving normally. This place is normally busy as hell. They've normally got loads of uh, loads of customers in here. Loads of freaking cheap beer and stuff promotions and dead as dead as hell. It's just everything freaking dead. Everything is just freaking dead. Oh my god! Even the freaking chemist is all shut up. Even the chemist is shut up. And there's like freaking like no cars, I just can't get my head around it. Normally you have to freaking go in and out, in and out, in and out, it's just mental. Coming up to like at seven o'clock at night and as you can see, even, even the traffic on the main road is freaking quiet. It's freaking crazy. I really am gobsmacked, really am freaking gobsmacked. So there, here you go. Quiet as hell, quiet as hell. We're now at uh, one of the markets before the main night market. Just gonna head it up into here, see how, um, how busy it is. This this wall is normally full, jam packed of like clothes and everything. Loads of people selling clothes and whatnot down here. 
And oh my god, at the end, if you look down the end down here as well. Nothing here at all. Absolutely nothing. Unbelievable. Yeah, I've got to feel sorry for the people that work here, geez. I, oh, this is crazy. Yeah, normally market stands, you can see like uh, the marks on the floor. All filled up with markets normally, but uh, absolutely friggin' dead, man. Absolutely dead. It's crazy. Yeah, you can see some stuff's open. Not much. Yeah, this is all closed as well. Smell lemongrass. Okay, I will. Smell the lemongrass that they told me to do. Friggin' smells nice. Like lemongrass. So yeah, again down here. A few of the markets, market stalls are still open and that, but as you can see, loads are still shut up. Absolutely crazy. So freaking quiet. Now we're just coming out to the, the main main road now, where all the main sort of night market is, and am I going to be mind blown again, gobsmacked again? Sounds a little bit more promising. Yeah, it's definitely better, definitely better. Check it out. Still probably about half the amount of stalls. <laughs> Mm, chicken skin. Mm, love this stuff. One seven nine. That's quite good. Cat people would love them. These KOs have shut up. This place is busy as hell normally. Yeah, I was like just walking up down the main road. Uh, the KO seafood is shut up. This is uh, oh, my favourite one is uh, still open, so we'll check out there in a minute. But yeah, loads of the other um, loads of the other restaurants all shut up and that. Yeah, so we just got to the end of the night market road. A uh, bit busier at the end, but um, only for track, only for freaking traffic. This bit's all open down here, but if you look down this side, all oh, shut up, completely shut up. Anyway, that's enough of me telling everything shut up because the thing is bloody obvious. We're going to go to the restaurant now, and I'll catch up with you inside. See you in a bit. Oh, hear it crackle, guys! Hear it crackle. Now we just got to one of my favorite restaurants in Hua Hin called Hua Hin Seafood. Just got the food now. We got a lovely uh, Dom Yum Gong, which is a spicy uh, soup with uh, prawns. And we got Khao Pad Saparot, which is um, uh, rice fried in a pineapple with lovely uh, cashew nuts and um, raisins and stuff. Totally not keto, but a little treat. We've got a Som Dum, which is the spicy Thai salad. And we've got, what's this one called? I forgot. Hoi Su Wan. Hoi Su Wan. We got Hoi Su Wan, which is uh, like a fried shellfish with like, uh, like crispy loads like, sort of noodly things and uh, bean shoots and stuff. Check it out. Absolutely freaking amazing. Going to get tucked in now. It's freaking hungry as well. We've also ordered a lovely um, fried fish with uh, a grilled fish or whatnot with loads of garlic as well. We're just waiting for that to come. Okay, just gonna try the dom yum at the moment. Mm. Yeah, the dom yum's even better than friggin' normal. Absolutely delicious. So creamy and spicy and oh, twangy and absolutely amazing. And really spicy today as well. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, did you say I wanted the spicy? Give that a try, the spicy salad. Mm. Mm, not bad. The Kalpad Supper Rock, which is the, the rice with the curry paste and that. Oh, look at that. It was yummy as well. I mean, well, yummy hell. Oh, mate, that's so freaking yummy. Mm. It's the hassle one. Mm. That's freaking yummy. Mm. Oh, my God, the food is absolutely freaking delicious. It's even better than normal. I guess because uh, it's not that busy here at all, they spend more time like perfecting the dishes. It's, oh, so good. Oh, and here's our fish as well. Just come check it out. Here we go. Yes. Check out that fish. Freaking amazing. Oh, look at that, guys. Absolutely wicked as well. Look at all that garlic as well. Who does not freaking love garlic? If you eat this fish, you'd be freaking getting repelling vampires for the next freaking 20 years. Look at all that garlic. Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna drink this, eat all of this. Well, not all of this, she, she can have some as well. You gonna have some, yeah? Okay. Hi, that was the answer, hi. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna catch up with you after we've finished eating, cheers. Food at Hua Hin Seafood, absolutely a friggin' amazing, absolutely delicious as hell tonight. Really, really enjoyable. And uh, then we had a uh, walk down the market and that. I bought that t-shirt, I'm just about to show you on the editing, I think right now. And she bought a cool hat, which she's wearing right now. And then we had a walk to 7-Eleven, got some water, I had a beer. Naughty beer as well, yeah. yeah. And that's my ice cream on the floor. Awesome. Friggin' Keto's out, semi out the window today and um, 
also had a chocolate ice cream so yeah I guess it is They're completely out the window and now we're walking back along the beach and obviously the beach has no lights apart from this light coming from the Hilton Hotel so yeah anyway we're just gonna walk along the beach and I'm not gonna record anything now because it's too freaking dark and I haven't got a tripod or anything so uh, gonna enjoy the lovely fresh air again on the beach for like the third time today and uh, yeah catch up with you in the room Yo, what's up guys, just back in the hotel room now, feeling absolutely friggin' shattered. So yeah, two, well, one good thing, one bad thing. Like, walking along the beach at night was absolutely friggin' awesome because there were no lights at all, so you could see all the stars, which is absolutely friggin' awesome. I absolutely love space, love the planets and all of that, and just seeing the stars is just amazing, but also sad because never get to travel to them, but uh, absolutely friggin' amazing, I love them. And one bad thing was, friggin' hell, people are just leaving their crap all over the beach. I couldn't believe it. Went back and there's friggin' like plastic bottles, bags of rubbish all left on the beach and you can't go and friggin' blame all the friggin' tourists and like dirty white people in friggin' Thailand because 99% of the tourists here are friggin' Thai so friggin' don't tell me you love your country when you're leaving your crap everywhere and leaving it like everyone in the friggin' world don't friggin' litter the bloody place take your plastic bag Take, take your plastic with you, throw it in a friggin' bin and to try and reuse it first if you friggin' can then recycle and then Throw it friggin' away in a friggin' goddamn bin or something. Don't friggin' just lob it all over the friggin' goddamn beach, you friggin' animals. It, oh my god, it makes me angry. Oh, okay, ranting and raving even over. So anyway, there you go. That is the end of today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and like all my pictures and all that malarkey. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are friggin' new. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for day number two. <laughs> I keep getting all these rhyming things lately. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. And stay tuned for tomorrow for day number two. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, yeah. Anyway, there you go then. The video is getting incredibly long now. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, I know today wasn't really keto. My channel stay called keto. But, yeah, it's good to have some cheat meals now and again once you're fat adapted. So, yeah. Anyway, waffle, waffle, waffle. Take care. Stay cool. See you tomorrow. Ciao. Chicka pow. Out in Hua Hin and in Bangkok, Bang blah, you really notice it more in out. Blah, but you, yeah, what's up, guys? We're just, yeah, what's up, guys? I was trying to record, um, friggin' after I had uh, the food at, yeah, what's up, guys? Just try, I was just gonna walk up to the main, main, blah, just gonna walk up to the uh, train bit at the back, yeah, so we're just gonna walk up to the train uh, station at the back and walk around and, uh, yeah, yeah, shit. <laughs>